Hi, this is Money from uh, bc 2 nscom So in this video we are going to look at uh, OHLC trading chart and uh, <coughs> how to make use of that and before I proceed into this video if you are looking for a free training in futures and options check out uh, bsc 2 nscom and again <coughs> OHLC is just a kind of chart representation uh, you have line uh, chart you have candlestick chart and uh, OHLC is very similar to candlestick representation uh, although it's relatively a simpler form of the candlestick uh, chart uh, it's very simple wherein it just has a line and mostly on the chart uh, the side legs on the left and the right you will not see prominently it will be very small here I have made it relatively bigger so that you can kind of see it clearly and always the uh, again OHLC is a short form of open high low and close so O H L C so the open stick is always on the left side of the uh, vertical uh, stick and the uh, the right side leg is always the close so again like in this candle or the positive candle or the positive uh, OHLC stick here uh, the open is lower and the close value is on the higher side uh, so that's why it's shared as green and uh, you can also call it as a positive stick and similarly here you see that the open is on the left uh, again and the close is on the right but again close is downward than the uh, open leg so it is red a similar representation in the candlestick will look something like this on the right that I've made and similarly for a positive candle like this a similar candle a similar uh, candlestick will look something like this so I'll just paint this in green too so that, uh, oops yeah so this will be uh, similar to a candlestick representation uh, and I'll show you on the chart how it's extremely useful um, uh, because looking at this uh, it's just a uh, basics of OHLC how to use it on the chart how it helps you uh, look at the charts in a simple format and it's actually helpful for people who trade looking at the charts so we just want to trade so for example here this is a nifty intraday chart uh, this I have taken it from uh, uh, Yahoo Finance like Yahoo Charts so here you can again see that here the OHLC sticks are not colored as uh, red and green all the <laughs> both both of them are just marked as plain uh, blue here but you can see the small legs to the vertical lines here representing the um, open and close open and close and I'll just it's kind of easy to spot a trend reversal it's either you can find it like forming a bottom here right I'm just marking in like or I'll mark it in green so you can see that here it's forming a bottom kind of clearly right because you see that the sticks uh, kind of bottom out and you can see it's forming something like a H sort of a thing and the recent trend was like coming down and then it forms like a base and it reverses out of there you have to wait for a confirmation also meaning like a, a base getting formed and then the next candle that again moves up so that's kind of a, a bottom for me similarly you can find that uh, resistance getting formed <coughs> wherein you see two sticks of uh, 
similar size and uh, uh, pretty much forming a higher high or like a flat high this is like a base getting formed at the top you can again find this like a base getting formed at the top again here and it drops and then it drops further so you can spot it's e it's kind of very easy to spot a base getting formed somewhere although not all of them may help you make profits but you can still kind of uh, spot a base getting formed and sometimes some of these bases will uh, give you a very good trading opportunity it's also uh, I'm just right now just spotting a base getting formed here uh, uh, there will be some V-shaped recoveries also. So this is a classical example of a flat base that is getting formed. I'll kind of now mark like a V-shaped recovery points. So we need a thinner line for that. So you can see a V-shaped recovery here. Getting, I think it needs to be a little bit more thicker. V-shaped recovery here uh, a V-shaped recovery here this is actually a flat base getting formed it's actually a base but this, the follow up candle uh, is actually not going, uh, it, it has not gone up and has actually formed again a negative base like at the top. Right. So, again, a, uh, inverted V, what they call it as you can see here. So an inverted V formation is more like again a sell off point or a point where it's kind of facing resistance. Typically you need to uh, for an inverted V you look at three candlesticks which is forming a V shape. For a base you look at two candlesticks which are forming a base like a horizontal base at the bottom level or at, or, or at the higher side so uh, if you just watch it you will be f able to find more bases and tops for resistance you can see although this is not a perfect uh, resistance point kind of a thing it's still dropping down from there you will have to couple this with a Bollinger band or uh, RSI that will help you kind of make uh, even more meaningful uh, trades out of this. So this is a simple way to trade based on OHLC wherein you look for uh, clear resistance and support levels where uh, the buyers are uh, forming a base and where the sellers are looking for a reversal points and this is just the intraday chart I'll ch try and show you the daily chart similarly on Nifty so this is the um, for a second yeah. actually I think the frame itself uh, just give me a minute, I'll just take a snapshot of that. Okay, so this is the uh, daily chart of the uh, OSLG chart for Nifty. Again, you'll look for the bases and the V-shaped. We may see a lot of V-shaped uh, kind of reversals here. Here you go, again, here. Again, you can kind of see this 
supposed to be in red. Although this is like a huge drop, like a immediate drop here. Not exactly a perfect V there. Small V. find flat basis support and resistance can fly in like a flat base resist flat base getting formed and went up that be resistance at the top at the top again yeah so like these you can kind of pretty easily form and look at these and this will kind of help you um, quickly realize uh, the movements that's happening in the market and trade based on that. So um, oh, while using OHLC just try and keep it simple and it should be relatively useful and um, uh, do not try to combine too many indicators like just combine two, two indicators at the max. So OHLC and RSI or OHLC and Bollinger Band, those should be more than sufficient. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website bsc2nse.com. Uh, thank you for watching the video and goodbye.